Happy birthday, Scorpio. Welcome to your monthly reading for November 2023. This is for Scorpio and Scorpio rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I use astrology and my guides to bring a lot more clarity, to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Scorpio, I do this because you know I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one on one. All right. Rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your reading. So Scorpio, uh, I love what's going on for y'all. I love it. And I want you to take a big bow. And I want to if I had a like, what is it called? Like a blowhorn? I would I would use that right now. OK, I want you a, a huge congratulations for making it to your birthday season. This is really exciting. OK, especially think about what happened. We, we had the nodal shifts. We had the hugest retrograde period where basically like there was a point where Every planet was retrograde, pretty much. Uh, and then we came out of these eclipses. Be very proud of yourself. Be very proud of yourself. And be very excited. I'm excited for y'all. I mean, just your last reading alone. Oh, my goodness. The abundance. The abundance that's coming in. So, Scorpio, this month, November, is, uh, you know, I've been making an analogy. It's kind of like the ending of the Truman Show. I don't know if you saw that movie. Remember when he like went through like he like all those storms, those artificial storms, but he made it. He made it to the stairs. He made it to the wall. He made it to the door and he opened that door. OK, he opened that door. What was that line? I don't even remember. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night, everybody. And the world cheered because he made it. And now it's you. It's you, Scorpio. You made it to November, to your birthday season, after all those big planetary things that have been going on. And now you're in the, on the brink of this new beginning in your life. There's some new things happening for you this month, all right? Really big things, really significant things, all right? And I say that because not only is it happening for every sign, every sign is going through, you know, especially after these eclipses, which were pretty life-changing. For you, Scorpio, A, it's your birthday season, B, we have a new moon in your sign. C, we have a full moon in Gemini, which happens to be your eighth house. All right. You are the native ruler of the eighth house. This is your month, Scorpio. This is insanely your month. So one of the reasons why I use the Truman Show as an analogy is because you know, uh, the viewer is, is it's, it's our job to, to wonder what happens after he walks through that door. Right. So I want you to do that for yourself. Now, imagine this world that you want to create for yourself. Imagine what is the next path for me? What's what, what do I want for my future? What's going to happen for my future? How can I, you know, help facilitate, you know, this new relationship I'm in or this new jo job I got to help, you know, can I make it work? And, 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 uh, you know, everything's going to be, um, amazing for you. And how can I make everything like you know, to stay amazing? Uh, it really is going to be a pivotal month. It's going to be a pivotal month. But the reason why I do bring up uh, that analogy as well is because remember I said imagine all these things. Well, Neptune is very active this month. Now, if you are a subscriber to my channel, you'll know a first I I'm, I'm doing your reading pretty late, which is why I got these ring lights going on. So I, I, I you may see uh you know, uh, 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 a, a lot more than me than than normal. Secondly, uh, Neptune, I never talk about, but Neptune is very active this month. OK, and so that is just something that I want you to, to keep in mind. All right. Neptune is not only active, but Saturn is going direct. Now, why is this important? Because Saturn and Neptune are in Pisces, your BFF, your fellow uh, water sign in your fifth house. OK, so Scorpio, all this activity with Neptune and Saturn going direct is in your fifth house of pleasure, of love, of romance, but also creativity, self-expression, recreation, like go play, uh, you know, uh, what is a trending thing everyone's doing? Pickleball, whatever it is, whatever you like to do, Scorpio, whatever 
whatever you like to do. Recreation, having babies uh, could be a big thing for y'all. But even still, this is going to be a month where um, there are some really amazing, great days. And there are some days that are a little bit more challenging than others. And we're going to talk about that if you are new to my channel. Uh, after I do your spread, stick around because I break it down week by week. I tell you what's going on every week this month. And I'm going to point out like some of the, you know, the good days, the great days. And there's some great days, uh, Scorpio. There's some great days this month. But then there are some challenging days as well. So I, br I pull a lot more cards. So with that said, Scorpio, let's do it. All right. Let's see what's going on for you for November 2023. Happy birthday, Scorpios. Uh, this is for Scorpio and Scorpio Rising. If you want to read for your moon and your Venus, you are absolutely welcome to. Uh, Venus is moving into Libra this month as well. We'll talk about that later. Uh, that is going to be moving into your 12th house. Um, and then also, I would read for the moon, especially because we have a new moon in your sign and the full moon in Gemini is in your eighth house, which you rule. So uh, very interesting with Pluto having gone direct as well. Pluto and Capricorn, your ruling planet. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. See what's going on for you for November 2023. All right. So Scorpio, let's do it. Uh, I'm very excited for you, by the way. Um, if you are, uh, by the way, I do a traditional called a cross spread. Like I said earlier, um, I am going to possibly pull clarifiers. We'll see how I feel because it is your birthday season. Of course, I'm going to pull clarifiers for you. Scorpio, are you kidding me? I would never do. I would I would never not do that. Um, Scorpio, I hope you're having a really great birthday. Uh, wow. Well, yeah, it looks like you are. <laughs> it looks like you are. Scorpio, don't even mess with me. Don't mess with me. You know you are. You will. Okay? Come November, you will. Uh, hello. Uh, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, I did, but uh, one thing that I was going to say, um, which I didn't mention, is, you know, we do move into Sagittarius season this month, okay? Um, and it's not just moving into Sagittarius season. It's Mars moving into Sagittarius. It's Mercury moving into Sagittarius. It's it's a lot happening in Sagittarius, which is your second house of money. Money is going to be a big thing for you. It's going to be a big thing for you. A lot of focus on money and finances, okay, and comfort in that area. And it looks like that is definitely something that's happening here, okay? Wow, wow, wow. Uh... I, I mean, you're go I'm going to have to talk about Neptune a little bit more for you, uh, and I'll explain that later, but I'm going to see what happens with your staff. But, uh, yeah, you got the page of wands. So when I say something new has begun for you, you know it. You know it, okay? You know something new has begun. There's been something that's been very compelling. This came up in your past. And, you know, I always release these videos uh, a little bit earlier than the week. So uh, always keep that in mind. But this uh, page of wands did come up in your past. So it really depends on when you watch this reading. But it looks like there is something that you are completely compelled by. Uh, something that you are putting your heart and soul into. Uh, I really love this energy for you. I really love it. Page of Wands coming up in your past. There's something that's there. All right. It's like, you know, especially for you, Scorpio, it's almost like this resurrection, um, especially with something that you're passionate about. You're 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 great. You know, I did a three month forecast three month ahead forecast and i'll leave that link up somewhere in here maybe at the you know at the end of the video okay um and i did say november was like the most like eh okay uh but it's out of like the last three months of the year but if you saw that you remember that i said the ace of pentacles hadn't shown up in anyone's spread for weeks and it was your sign where it finally showed up was it your sign? It was your sign that it finally showed up, but, um, or it was your actual, it was like after that, there was another one where it showed up. Anyway, uh, you got the Ace of Pentacles in the higher your spread, and this is absolutely amazing. Um, I can't even, sorry, I'm squirming around. You, by the way, 
when I say something new, like coming after the page of wands and money and wealth, this is the biggest pentacle in the deck. Okay. You see that pathway there, right? You see that archway. There's this new journey. Okay. Is this new path that you're going on and it gives a lot of money and wealth around it. Okay. Now, if you're not here for money, all right, if you are, you know, uh, if, if, if you are, uh, 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 Harry Styles. Okay. If you're Harry Styles watching this video, you got no money. You got so much money. You don't even care about money. It's not even a matter for you. Uh, it's wealth comes in a lot of different forms, right? Wealth and knowledge, wealth in like career, wealth and success and family and whatnot. But even still there is uh, yeah, big old blingy money, especially as we move into Sagittarius season where you're going to have a lot more focus on money. But, um, wow. Ace is bringing that new change. I want you to know that. And remember that they bring in new opportunities, new beginnings. You're really, really good here. You're really good. Uh, and then you see how you have the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, okay? Uh, in your crown, in the Rudier spread. So more money, 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 money. Is that how they do it? Money, money, money. Uh, you did get the Four of Cups in your challenge area, okay? So uh, one thing is uh, there is something that is likely going. It's almost like bowling okay and you throw the bowling ball <laughs> i hope i'm using the right you throw it right uh and you don't get all the uh pins but you get on the second strike okay and you in and, and, and that's a, a home run all right or whatever they call it when you get it all knocked off uh <laughs> i probably shouldn't use an analogy that i know nothing about but that's what's the biggest message coming up is like there could be something that does come through this month uh, where it's not exactly what you wanted or it's something that there's something off about it. Uh, just remember to be grateful that it came through at all. OK, just be grateful that it did come through. So it is even just like maybe there is a job. Like Let's say you're looking for a new job. All right. And you go through four interviews and you get the job, but they don't match the salary that you really wanted. Uh, don't take a baseball bat and like bash everything in your place. Right. Sit there, have that gratitude. Be like, you know what? This really, really sucks. But. I'm still grateful. I'm still grateful that I had this opportunity. I learned a lot from this opportunity. I know that there's people out there that don't even get opportunities at all. All right. So have that gratitude. It's the biggest message coming through for this month. Should something come through that you're just like, eh. The other thing is actually what's really funny and interesting is that it's almost like you are going to be kind of like, Eh, about something like really bored about something or maybe like just you've lost interest with something um have that gratitude because something is coming and it's gonna be harder for that thing to come through if you're vibrating at a very low frequency like um him with his arms crossed crossing off his heart right uh, so keep that in mind. All right. So there could be something again. Um, and I feel like that was like a thing for your last reading too. There may be some, like, it's not time yet, but again, here it is just saying that there could be something that you're, uh, waiting for and you're just like, and it's taking too long. But as you can see, it's coming. You have the ace of pentacles and the heart of your spread, which uh, honestly it, that in itself, like, I haven't seen that in a long time. The Ace of Pentacles in the heart of this spread, that's rare, all right? I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, so just be, keep your energy level high this month, all right? Just be happy that it's your birthday season, you're gonna go partying, and you know, you got a lot of big plans. You already have all these wonderful new things happening. There could be something else that you want. Hasn't it, it completely happened yet. You're, you're a little bored, but 
find some time to fill up those slots, do something silly, do something, you know, go out there and I don't know, uh, 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 go uh, get some cookies you've never had before from the local shop, whatever you do, Scorpio. But even still, speaking of money, come on, come on. You got uh, the three of pentacles. You got the four of pentacles. I mean, with the ace of pentacles, when you're looking down your cross, it's a lot of pentacles. So money, money definitely is going to be on your mind in November. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely going to be a thing. But uh, I want you to be uh, very communicative. I want you to be very communicative. That is really going to make all the difference for you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain why later, but uh, well, I'll tell you now. Mercury is moving into Sagittarius, and Sagittarius, like I said, is your second house of money. That is a really big thing that I want you to consider. Pluto has gone direct. Pluto is your ruling planet. Pluto is in Capricorn in your third house of communication. Now, boom and boom. These two cards are ruled by Capricorn. Okay, so communicate the things that you need. All right, be very communicative. Don't be like, uh, how do I say this nicely? Just be careful in the way that you communicate. All right. And I only say that because like, again, Neptune is going to be at play a lot. And Neptune is not only like your imagination and creativity, but it is like fantasy. It's illusion. It's, you know, it depends on like the aspect that's happening, but we're, we'll talk about that. But yeah, there is like, you know, with the four of pentacles in your crown, a lot of you're thinking about structure, you're thinking about stability, you're thinking about even financial stability, uh, but kind of like just building this foundation for your life, putting things in order. And then three of pentacles. I really love this. So uh, for me, it looks like a lot of y'all have moved into like uh, new jobs or there is something that where you're working with people, you could have even launched a project or you will this month uh, or work with people or get a new job or, you know, all of those things are very possible here with your spread and you're going to be fine. You're going to be very successful. You're going to be, uh, this is a card of joy. It's all about celebration here. Like you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely good. Oh, I want you to know that. All right. You just got the four of wands like you're you're good scorpio you're good this is a card of like not only do you see them like uh, come on this this is the hurrah card this is the card of like hurrah uh so i i i want you to know that this is you're you're going to be you got the four of ones in your future everything's going to work out perfectly you have nothing to worry about some of y'all are definitely getting married some of y'all are getting dream jobs that you're landing some of y'all may have a baby okay uh and actually if you do it will be a girl uh and if you also uh uh, there could be like bigger things around home moving into like a new place with a partner like there's so much happening here but just think milestones like they're gonna have you can expect some sort of big milestone obviously your birthday too like you have like a big birthday bash or whatnot and you should you deserve it you've gone through a lot okay you've scorpios have gone through a lot uh but let's get to your stuff Scorpio, I love this for you. Um, if you like this reading, by the way, it would be so great if you like, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what's going on. Tell me what you're doing for your birthday, Scorpio. Um, and if you are a subscriber, it would be great. Oh, wait, no, I already said that. Oh, gosh, I'm filming your thing like really late at night. Scorpio, if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for being here. You're amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, you're really good, Scorpio. I can't even... It really is. Like, the only message that I have for you so far is just keep your gratitude high. Uh, you're going to be fine. Keep your energy level high. You're going to be fine, okay? Just vibrate at a high frequency. It looks like it, you're going to. You're going to. It's just... There may be something where it's just like, eh, okay? But just continue to just just have that gratitude. That's, that's all your spread is, is like you being successful you getting everything you want you're going to be fine you're absolutely going to be fine but um don't close off your heart either um you know that is a thing with the cups card especially with the cups in with this card in particular but if you look at your entire spread here even including the stuff you got no cups all right so cups feelings emotions 
love, like open your heart up this month too. Uh, I'm not saying that like you won't, but uh, with a four of cups here, it's things will just feel easier. Okay. Uh, but pff, you got the eight of wands. I mean, come on, come on. <sighs> things are, I mean, like, if you have been in a place where you feel like things have not been happening, which is pretty much like unlikely this month in your birthday season, things will happen and things will happen fast. It looks like they will happen fast. And uh, it seems like that's what you want. Anyway, you want things to happen like faster for you. Uh, just continue to like have that gratitude and you will. And remember to communicate. All right. Especially with this card coming up, the eight of wands. Um, this card is attributed to Mercury and Sagittarius. And like I said, Mercury will be going into Sagittarius this month. And Sagittarius is your second house of money. And if you think about the wands, all about your passions, creativity, ideas, but also like work related. So there really is uh, a lot, you know, there could be a lot of movement, but uh, I really, it would be you having to take action for it though. Um, so I wouldn't really... It's like, should it, it looks like something new is coming through for you, for sure. Um, with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, for a lot of y'all, it's already happened, all right? Uh, but there is a sense of something could be a little off this month, and you just want to speed out of it. But uh, And it could have to do with money, but you do see that you did cut the Six of Wands, too. I mean, Scorpio, like, I don't make this up. You saw me shuffle this the, the deck, like... You're good. <laughs> you just got the six and ones in your external factors area. Um, I mean, come on, come on. I, you're, you're, you're really good here. Um, this is a card of victory. It's a card of success. It's all about like rising above. It came in your external factors area. You're good. You're absolutely good. Like you can't. You're gonna be on such a high this month. Like you, uh, like, like you found an immunity idol right like that kind of high like yeah do you get that reference i don't know i i just to let me know if you get that reference i, I i'm a later i'm late in into like like i just kind of discovered it so uh the anyway leave a comment okay if you get that reference uh the hidden immunity idol uh you do get the two ones all right so there is still a sense of uh you kind of like you're in this planning stage. There's, you know, especially with the four of pentacles in your crown, um, you're still planning something through. And it could be this new thing that's come through, which is good. That's great. Plan, all right? Don't, like, plan everything. There may be some things that are going to be, again, kind of challenging this month, but uh, you'll be able to navigate through it fine. It's the, You're going to be absolutely fine. And then here you go with the high priestess uh, in your final outcome. Uh, you're going to be absolutely fine. You're going to be amazing. I don't even know what to say. I mean, like, you're going to be really good. The high priestess is the guardian of the subconscious. So, you know, the subconscious, what is the subconscious, right? It's where, you know, uh, we store our memories. So that's where like fear and anxiety and stress, all of that, they all live in your subconscious. So, uh, it looks like you're just going to be fine, but do take that time to go within. Uh, it looks like you will though. It really does. Looking at your... There's like a lot of planning, putting things in order. There's a lot of new things happening. And I mean, you're, f you, you're going to be good. Um, so yeah, you got the Knight of Wands clarifying the Four of Wands. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. So we're moving into Sagittarius season, which again is your second house. Of money, finances, like, it, and also self worth, self value, you knowing like your worth, like what your value is. Like, this is absolutely amazing. But it's also you just like charging forward toward your passions. I mean, like, this could not, like, when I say like resurrected, I mean, you got the page of wands, the knight of wands, but you see your, when you look across your cross, you got the page of wands, the ace of pentacles, the four of wands, and the knight of wands with the six of wands like you're fine you're fine i you're you're gonna be so good um are you traveling by the way some of you are gonna be going on a trip 
honeymoon too. Congratulations if you're going on a honeymoon. Um, wow, that's really cool. I love that. Uh, and then clarifies, clarifies. You're good. Scorpio, like last week's reading, I went on record saying it was your best weekly reading since I started this channel. I mean, this is up there. Last week was insane, but like you got the high priestess with the king of wands, the king of wands. Come on. Um, I'm going to show you something here. You got four out of the five court cards and the wand suit. Like, yeah, your, your passions are like an overdrive. You're going to get your, your, you're, you're going to be unstoppable. It really is like, uh, hello, Rocky theme song. Like you are good. Like all this newness coming through, uh, you, especially if you are here for work, like you're good. Don't you like, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. You're going to be sitting in that throne. The King of Wands is, you know, someone who is, he's a really fun King. I really like this King. All right. He is Leo, uh, but a lot of transformative energy. So there's a lot of transformative energy with the, uh, um, male, uh, court cards in the wand suit. Right. And you even see like the salamanders all over their tunics here. Um, salamanders, like, uh, really is all about transformation. It's all about change. Uh, but you do see it in the symbol of the Ouroboros, too, here. It, like, do, are you getting deja vu, by the way, from your last reading? Um, so, anyway, you are good. This is a very transformative month for you. You're absolutely good. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I mean, you are going to be in this uh, a place where you feel a lot uh, of comfort and security and, uh, you know, you having reached the passions that you've been passionate about and, you know, being very influential as well. Uh, like there's, uh, like you're going to be 1000% amazing. And then you get the nine of wands, which is all about resilience. And it's, you know, like you're, you're going to be fine. It's almost like, um, You've worked so hard. Definitely trust your intuition. Definitely let your intuition guide you, especially with a high priestess coming up. And that's what's going to bring all this abundance and you sitting in this throne. But with a nine of clarified with a nine of wands now, it's like you're going to get something huge. Like you're going to get it to this point where it's like, I can't like this is it. This is amazing. And you're going to have it. There's like a lot of preservation or I sorry, perseverance energy with the nine of wands. Uh, but yeah, it's like it could even be. I'm not going to lie. It's, you're going to some of y'all are going to be moving up and elevating and ascending in roles that maybe like really top like C-suite level, like big time for a lot of Scorpios. Um, and if you're not here for work, it's, you know, it, it, a lot of just about your passions here, but money is a big thing. Money and work. You see that you've gotten all pentacles and all wands and the, uh, uh the, the high priestess here. So, um, the fact of the matter is, uh, this really is a month of money and work and your passions. Okay. Um, you didn't get any swords. Can you believe that? Uh, like it's all wands and pentacles. Uh, you got the one cup card, but it was in your challenge area. So open up your heart, but the swords, um, that's what I was going to say earlier is that, uh, that was what I was watching out for. Like, I'm going to see if any swords come up in their stuff and you didn't get any, and it's not a bad thing. It's just like, just be very careful about the way you think think and the way that you communicate this month communication is going to be a big thing um because there's no swords here at all uh and neptune is really at play this month 
but let's see what's going on for you every week all right let's see what's going on for you for every week this month um the first week of november scorpio um you know, I really love Sun opposite Jupiter. So we really kick it off in a great, on, on the second, in a really great way. Uh, it really is all about expansion. One day that I do want you to really be aware of is uh, November 4th, Saturn going direct after being retrograde since June 17th. And June 17th, if you want to think back around that time, because remember I said there's a full moon in Gemini at the end of this month. We had a new moon in Gemini, but okay, so the full moon in Gemini corresponds to the new moon Gemini around that same time, June 17th. Like it was that, so the, you may see something that you started around that time. Uh, there's something that is being brought to light or coming to an end or concluding, or you know, it's like stage one of this is over, now you're on to stage two. But really love that, okay? Mercury opposing Uranus on that same day on November 4th. This is when you can be just very compelling in communication. But just, you know, be careful about the way that you do communicate because it is Uranus here. Um, but let's see what's going on for you. All right, Scorpio, for the first week of... November. Do you hear the rain? It's raining. You got the Five of Pentacles, okay? So... There is going to be definitely some something. It's almost like you've got to stop worrying about money. The first week is something. So that eclipse is so cl we're we're under the umbrella of that that eclipse that happened, right? The uh, full moon lunar eclipse that happened in Taurus in your seventh house of partnerships. So we're still, there's a lot of changes. Things could have come to an end. Again, it could have just been like a stage in your life or whatnot, but there could be a big sense of like money and worrying about money, uh, worrying about finances, worrying about maybe even a partner who's lost a job or just something where you're just like, ah, you have the Ace of Pentacles in the heart of your spread, so do not worry. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Uh, things are going to be fine. You know, this is... Fives are all about challenges, okay? They're the conflict cards and the challenge cards. Um, but there's hope in every card. In fact, you know, you see the Five of Pentacles here. These two people are so focused on their plight, so worried about things, so, you know, like... Um, it's the card is like attributed to like feeling sorry for yourself or whatnot. Um, and I'm not saying that any of y'all are, but in this card, you see that they're literally outside of church. They're literally outside of church, but they can't see it because they're so focused on their plight. Now you can even see the pentacles arranged in the church in the window as an anchor. So there is like an anchor of hope. So it really is the biggest message coming through looking at your spread, your entire spread here is like it don't stress about money and that could be the one thing that um is why uh, well, you got the four cups in the in your challenge area but i'm going to clarify that for you just to make sure what is going on yeah so if you do have some sudden well i wouldn't even say sudden but some sort of change in finances or the way that you see it or if something happens in your life it really is like a big wake-up call for you all right i mean you just got judgment here okay so it really would be like a really big wake-up call and it's actually like good it's a good thing uh so it could be something that really like it could be just like a false alarm even too but it's just like you being in this headspace where what it's like you're putting too much energy there. You need to really just go to your intuit. Like with the high priestess, just be more intuitive. Tap into your intuitive side and just know you're really good for November. So you could be entering the first week uh, in, in moving into a place where just like things may feel a little like, oh, uh, what's going on? Um, but again, there is also a sense of like something holding you back still. 
just be aware of that. Let that, this card is all about like that reckoning that, you know, spiritual awakening. It's that, you know, hearing the blow of the trumpet. It's, it's, it's seeing, uh, 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 uh really just again, um, it, like a wake up call is let's leave it at that. Okay. Cause I don't, I, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but it's all about finding that wisdom inside you finding how like realizing who you are knowing this transformation is uh, uh you're about to start this brand new journey in your life okay so in order to do that you have to have faith in yourself and you have to look at the brighter side of things all right so with that said let's see what's going on for the second week second week venus is trining pluto on the sixth this is a date that you may want to write down in 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 your uh, in your calendar, um, or circle it in your calendar. Venus training Pluto. Come on, that's really really spicy. That's really hot. That's really. I've been saying it's like fuego. It's uh, it's really nice. Okay, it's very 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 nice. It's uh, especially when it comes to like romance and um, you know, uh, love and whatnot. Uh, but also money. Okay. Remember Venus is all about money in addition to love and romance. And so is Pluto. Pluto is all about money, uh, finances. So that's a really great day. And then on the eighth, Venus does move into Libra, which is very, very, very nice. All right. Very nice. We'll talk about that more in my weekly, uh, on the ninth Mercury, because Venus is in its time, Venus rules Libra. So it's like, at home there so there's like a lot of like love 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 uh but again money too now via mercury entering sagittarius on the ninth we're going to talk about this in the weekly a little bit more this is uh mercury's and its detriment in sagittarius it doesn't do well in sagittarius but i it's a silly placement it's like a goofy placement it's really honestly it's like because if you think about it, Mercury, it, Mercury is all about logic. Mercury wants logic. Sagittarius is like this, right? I want to go explore. I'm adventurous. I need my freedom. And it's a, so Mercury and Sagittarius really is. It's it's silly. It's a goofy. It's like optimistic. It's not organized, though. OK, it's like very enthusiastic, but it's not. But it's like. A little scattered it, it, so we'll we'll talk about it more it's like an escape room you know it's like i don't know if you've ever been to one but it's like you know when you get there it's like you're giddy you're like oh, i've never done this it's gonna be fun and you get in and you're like whoa what is going on and you know escape rooms like they make your brain they force your brain to think in a different way like in ways that you never have so it's like almost like tapping into this uh, part of your brain that it's like whoa what is going on so there's that explorative part but it's like connecting that with a logic anyway i'm i'm, I'm going I'm, i know i'm gonna go over like way over timing in this video so on the 11th i want you to mark this down because this is a day where it's challenging mars is going to oppose uranus now you may have some sort of conflict with a partnership, okay? I want you to really pay attention. That's a sign. Really pay attention to what I'm saying, okay? With the on the eleventh, Mars opposing Uranus is it's it's Uranus is remember the unexpected surprises. Mars is in your sign, Scorpio. It's in your sign and Uranus is in Taurus in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So there could be something like, you know, a challenge that comes up out of nowhere, you know, surprising. So just be chill. Just be cool. Know that everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. Your passions are lit like you're good. OK, so this week, you know, Venus moving into Libra is amazing. Venus training Pluto, Mercury moving into Sagittarius. There's a lot going on. That's not even that's only half of what is going on for this second week. So the second week is loaded. It's definitely loaded. So let me pick up those cards. I just slipped. I'm going to see if you know what? I'm going to do two cards for you here. I'm going to do two cards for you. Um, let's see what's going on for you for the second week of November. You're good.
you're absolutely good. Just be patient, okay? Just be patient. Just be patient if there's things that, look at this. You got the four of cups with the eight of uh, ones here, uh, knight of ones here. Just be patient if there's things that you're just like, I need this to happen now, which is like I've said from the beginning, that is like Mars and Scorpio, okay? Just be patient. Things are going to be good. Things are going to be fine. You're, are you getting deja vu from your last reading? You've got to be. Come on. You've got to be. With the two of cups here. This card is ruled by Venus. Remember I said Venus is moving into its domicile, moving into Libra, the native ruler of partnerships and relationships. So, like, you're good. You're absolutely good. Uh, just, you know, have that, like, self-restraint. If you feel that, you know, again, if, if there is something that, like, happens that you're just like, oh, um, you're going to be fine. Just trust me on that. You're going to be fine. And I did tell you from the beginning, there's going to be a little bit of speed bumps through this month. And so everyone's going to experience a little bit of a speed bump here and there. But again, you've the overall picture. You're going to be absolutely fine. Oh, my gosh. You got two archangels here. Um, let's see what's going on for your third. OK, so. Ah, the third week, we have the new moon in your sign. Okay, so this is happening on November 13th. So definitely mark this down. New moons, as you know, bring in new beginnings. Uh, they, they, they kick off new new things in your life, uh, new cycles. Uh, the only uh, thing about this new moon, though, is that the sun is going to be opposite Uranus. So it, again, can possibly be a little tense. But remember, the new moons have energy that lasts for for weeks. OK, uh, and this aspect is it's just uh, it. But it again, there just could be some surprising news. OK, just some surprising news. We're just like, what? Uh, and, you know, again, it's in your seventh house of partnerships uh, and uh, relationships. So whether work, career, whether love, romance, um, but it could even be just the fact that, like, you find out that your boss is leaving or something. Do you know, like there just could be something surprising. And now it, with this new moon, you have like a new boss coming in. And now, you know, like there's so many different like every Scorpio is different. Every Scorpio is going to take away something different from this reading, right? You all have different birth charts. Uh, but the 17th is a uh, absolutely amazing day. This is your five, I would even say six star day, okay? Uh, not only is Mars trining Neptune and the sun trining Neptune on the 17th. So again, Neptune creativity, it's like your, your mind is going to explode with like creativity and imagination, but in a good way, in an, an absolutely amazing way. But uh, the sun is going to conjunct Mars. Do you know what that means? So, Scorpio, you know how we've had all these Mercury Kazemis? Well, now we have a Mars Kazemi. And both the sun and Mars are in your sign. Just circle this day. Circle it in red. It's a great day for you. It's a great day for you. And of course, we're going to talk about this more in the weekly readings, but um, you're just going to feel absolutely driven that you're just going to feel absolutely driven. OK, so let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, for the third week. Of November. You're good. Uh, you're good. You're going to be fine. Just open up your heart. There's the biggest message coming through. This is the card of satisfaction. This is the card of, you know, I say it's the genie in a bottle energy. You even see him sitting there like a genie in a bottle. Uh, you see the cups aligned over his head. Uh, so you're what I love is like you're you're getting all these cups cards um but there's some wishers coming true so if there is like some frustration impatience boredom feeling like things are not happening feeling like uh just you know meh, like 
come on, let, let's get moving. Looks like it's really going to kick off around the third week with a new moon in Scorpio, okay? Uh, with this wish that you have coming true. Uh, you even see the cups aligned over his head. I mean, like, again, a lot of enlightenment there. Uh, but just one thing I'm going to point out is that the really, really don't just don't be too standoffish. Okay. Don't be too standoffish this month. All right. We cool on that. All right. Fist bump. No. All right. Well, let's disagree. Just not don't just be community. Communication is key. I've said that from the beginning. Don't be standoffish this month. Okay. Open your heart. Open your heart and your mind. Right. Sing that. Right. Uh, so anyway, the last week of uh, November, we have the sun sextiling Pluto and Mars sextiling Pluto. The, when I say this is your month, this is your month. This is absolutely amazing. Again, the sun and Mars in your sign, Pluto being your ruling planet. This is like your empowerment level is like through the roof at this point. Um, 22nd, so we officially enter Sagittarius season. I do want you to keep the 23rd and the 25th. Those, I, you know what, just, let's just say 23rd, 24th, 25th. This may be the hardest week, okay? Uh, it's challenging. Just, you could be tested. Your, your patience could be tested, all right? So, uh, just be cool. Wear your cool uh, Scorpio sunglasses. Uh, you know, uh, have your stingers, like, don't, you know, don't bring your stingers out. Uh, but if, it, because you're being tested okay so uh you're going to be cool now we have that full moon in gemini on the 27th full moons as you know illuminate a lot of things like i said think back to june if you want to think about what may uh, uh resonate around this time with this full moon mercury is going to square neptune on this day so again this is actually clouding it's it's like very foggy so it's almost like clouding up the full moon um wow pay attention to this it's a big sign okay so just know the facts on the 27th there may be some things that happen around this time where things just are not as clear as you would like them to be and again this full moon is in your eighth house so it's you rule the eighth house and it is uh you know rebirth right? It's tr your transformation, but it's other people's money too. Okay. It's other people's money. It's other people's resources, inheritance, investments, uh, your partner's income. It's, uh, bonuses, royalties, commissions, all of that paying off debts, all of that, all of that. So with that said, a powerful, again, another packed week, another packed week. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, for the last week of November. Five of Cups. There is something that you will definitely, definitely have to. You know that's a Scorpio card. Uh, you're going to, something may be a little disappointing around this time. Um, I wouldn't be surprised and I wouldn't even take this like, don't get like, uh, don't let it bother you because again, Every sign with these aspects, some of, like I said, some that we haven't seen in a long time, or, you know, maybe for some of you who, who are new to my channel, have never experienced some of these aspects, like, you know, the sun squaring Saturn is pretty hard, okay? Mars squaring Saturn, pretty hard. It, it, it's just testing days, okay? And so there could be something where it's just like, you get, re it really affects you, okay? Really affects you, but it's really interesting that, uh, you know, with you pulling the five of cups, uh, just definitely know whatever happened is happening for you and it's up to you. Okay. Everyone has free will. If there is something that is like a fight that you get in or something that just like has an emotional impact on you, know that you got two full cups behind you. All right. You won't ever see them if you just, if, if you're looking at the past. 
all right, at whatever happened. So you're going to have to find a way to, you know, come to some sort of like, you know, terms of like, uh, you know, closure or, you know, I've learned from this. I'm moving on now. But I'm going to clar- clarify this for you. OK, because it is your birthday season. So um, let's see what's going on here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Knight of Cups. Very interesting, um, especially because, well, again, let's just say that the Knight of Cups has been very relevant for Scorpios. Um, you just look at your last reading, but uh, it, 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 hey, listen, uh, you're just listen, there could be something that, uh, uh, it really is. You're going to be fine. Okay. And it does seem like it is going to have to do something with um, m- love or romance where there could be something like, again, that's, it could, yeah, I'm not going to lie. There could be a breakup, but there could also be um, just a really tense moment where you may have had a little tiffle tuffle with you know a significant other or something work related to um or just something that you're passionate about that doesn't work out uh but once you look up and once you move move on you're going to be absolutely fine you're going to be absolutely fine with the knight of cups here all right and so knight of cups uh is pisces uh you even see the fish on his armor and so remember neptune is in pisces know the facts know all the facts okay so this you see the figure here looking at the spilled cups does he even need to does he know all the facts okay so know all the facts because you may not even have to all right there could be something disappointing that happens but you may hear it and immediately be reactive without knowing the facts that's going to be a big thing with Neptune at play this month, all right? But especially the last week during the full moon in Gemini, all right? But looks like you're going to be good after uh, with the Net of Cups here. Um, can I tell you how unique your reading is? You got no swords. You got absolutely no swords. I've never done a monthly reading where there are where one out of the four, you know, like one, uh, none of them showed up. Like this is pretty insane, Scorpio. Really communicate, okay? I need you to communicate. I need you to communicate. I need you to be uh, not let you know. Neptune is gonna bring a lot of like illusion and fantasy versus reality that's going to happen a lot this month all right so it's like don't go chasing like waterfalls right have a little bit of logic to things like really be like headstrong in situations but also do not be standoffish i want you to communicate that is a big lesson all right in fact what i I was going to show you something earlier you got the three cards here they go Yeah. 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 You got the three cards where they're crossing off their hearts. The only three cards where they're crossing off their hearts. Okay. And so when this happens, don't let like pride get to you. Okay. Don't let boredom or lack of gratitude get to you and don't let you know uh don't be don't dismiss people in your lives uh being laser focused on like well money okay don't like for don't let your money own you okay um so you have a great spread i'm not gonna lie you have an amazing spread. It's just there are a little couple things where it's like, 
please let your intuition guide you. Do not cross off your heart. I want you to communicate this month, okay? Do not be standoffish like these three uh, when you look at their shadow sides, okay? And that does come up when the three of them, out of all 78 cards, right, you get the three. But the fact that you got no swords really communicate really think things through this month okay really use that logic okay there are no swords here there are absolutely no swords this is a rare you have another rare scorpio you're blowing my mind you have another rare reading i another rare when i say rare like for me i've never had like for a celtic cross spread like with these with clarifiers with breaking it down with no swords one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty six seven eight nine twenty blah, 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 blah. over 20 cards no swords and they're all evenly like come on you know you know that's a big deal oh my gosh okay 50, uh thank you so much for tuning in um sorry i get carried away sometimes uh scorpio thanks so much for tuning in you're amazing uh if you like this reading by the way it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments i actually want to know what happens for y'all i want to know what happens for y'all this month you are you've got you like come on this is going to be a huge month for you this is going to be a huge month for you. Like, you're good. You're really good. There's going to be little moments here and there, sure. But overall, you're going to be good. Just trust your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. And and, 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 and don't be and, 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 and communicate. All right, Scorpio? Thanks so much. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.